Mm. That's what we can say. But this season, a summer danger is hidden among the weeds. The heat and humidity is fueling an uptick in certain ticks in St. Louis County and nationwide. Yeah, and area health experts say that there are ways to keep these parasites from latching onto you. Sounds lovely. And news for us, <laughs> David Amelotti is watching out for you tonight. We are one of the hot spots for tick-borne virus. While most tick bites are harmless and don't require medical treatment, James Sayers with St. Louis County Public Health says tick-borne diseases such as ehrlichiosis, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, and Lyme disease are more common. Well, typically, once a tick attaches, um, they will actually feed on your blood until they're engorged, um, and at that point, they will just fall off. Signs and symptoms of tick-borne diseases begin one to two weeks after the tick bite, like a fever, chills, rash, headache, muscle aches, and fatigue. If a tick is attached to you, only use fine point tweezers or a tick removal tool. Be careful to not squeeze the body of the tick, grasp the head and mouth parts as closely to the skin as possible. Uh, what you do not want to do is you don't, you don't want to apply, say, a match um, or cover them with Vaseline. Once removed, you should clean the bite area with rubbing alcohol or antibacterial soap and water. <coughs> Pets are a bit tougher, mainly because of fur, so you should treat them with a monthly flea tick preventative. Once the ticks get on them, it's really tough to find them and get them off. The county doesn't do widespread tick control. Sayers says it's impractical. But the guys, if they're out in the field treating for mosquitoes, if they find a tick on them, they'll bring that back here and we'll identify just to make sure it's, it's not something new that we haven't seen before. He says tick-borne illness is more common in our area than mosquito-borne illness. And for the season that remains, Sayers and his team hopes if one species doesn't pop up in Missouri, it's the Asian longhorn tick. They have the ability to reproduce asexually. So it just takes one female arriving here um, on a bird or whatever carries it here. Um, and then they can actually, through one female Asian longhorn tick, establish population. In St. Louis County, David Emilotti, News 4. Tonight at